Hi everyone and welcome to our webinar today on CAP Complete. My name is Cindy Maple and I'm the Product Manager for 2020 CAP Complete as well as our other office applications. Uh, I'm excited today to give you an overview of our new 2020 CAP Complete product. Uh, today my goal is to show you our new 2020 CAP Complete product and hopefully give you some information that you might, know about, might not know about, about our uh, product. So what is 2020 CAP Complete? 2020 CAP Complete is our new all-in-one space planning office application from 2020. What that means is 2020 CAP Complete combines 2020 CAP's drawing and space planning functionality but with an integrated CAD system. We created 2020 CAP Complete in response to requests from a lot of you and a lot of our customers to have a powerful space planning application that did not require a separate CAD system purchase. This makes 2020 CAP Complete a great solution for new and existing customers who want to eliminate the cost of using a separate CAD system. So I just want to note a couple of things. Um, the CAD system that we are using in this new product is a different CAD system um, from AutoCAD, so you will see some differences. Um, you'll see a lot of similarities, but there are some things that, that are different. Um, CAP Complete can be customized in similar ways to AutoCAD, but it's a different um, CAD system, so most of your existing customizations may, will not just convert. Um, please contact our 2020 customer success team and let us know what customizations you're using, and, and we can sometimes help uh, to get those over. But typically, you, um, you'll have to use 2020 CAP Complete to do your customizations. We also know that some of you use AutoCAD plugins in, conju in conjunction with 2020 CAP, so please let us know what plugins you use and we'll contact the creators of those tools to, and have them create something that's compatible with 2020 CAP Complete. So one, as we began thinking about um, this new product, we recognized that any application that we um, created needed to read and write DWG and DXF files. Uh, most people in the industry are using uh, those type of files, and this would allow for easy communication with other industry professionals. Um, we also knew that the new application needed to be powerful and able to handle large projects. A lot of our dealers are, uh, that are using uh, 2020 CAP are working on very large projects. We also knew that, that the new tool needed to support the same 200 plus manufacturers as 2020 CAP and all of our other office applications. We need, knew we needed to support all of the manufacturer specific automation and functionality that 2020 CAP has today. And we wanted to work really hard to eliminate the learning curve for our existing users. Uh, most of the people requesting this product are 2020 CAP users today. And anytime you take on a new application, uh, there's a bit of a learning curve. And we wanted to eliminate as much of that as possible. And then also we, we wanted this tool to, just like 2020 CAP, integrate with 2020 Work Surface and work, <laughs> let me try that again. In, with 2020 Worksheet and 2020 Visual Impression. Um, both of those applications we'll talk about a little bit later are um, part of your purchase of 2020 CAP Complete. So let's talk a little bit about uh, features and catalogs. Uh, 2020 CAP Complete contains the same features as 2020 CAP and integrates seamlessly with 2020 Worksheet and 2020 Visual Impression. Worksheet and Visual Impression, as I said, are included in part of in part of the 2020 CAP Complete purchase um, and supports all the same catalogs that our other Office applications do. So I have a quick chart here that I wanted to share with you, um, which is uh, what's the difference between 2020 CAP and 2020 CAP Complete. So feature by feature, uh, 2020 CAP requires AutoCAD, 2020 um, CAP Complete does not. Um, 2020 CAP supports AutoCAD uh, tool sets. Um, CAP Complete doesn't yet. That doesn't mean we won't in the future. Um, same is true for uh, AutoCAD plugins. Um, both applications read and write DXF, DWG, and DWT files. They both support um, uh, UI customization, so each individual can, can customize their, their worktop. They both support large projects and are, are powerful enough to do multi-floors, multi-buildings. 
They both include 2020 worksheet and 2020 visual impression. Um, 2020 CAP complete supports, or both of them also support uh, associated worksheets. We already talked a bit about how support for 200 plus manufacturers. Uh, but one of the things that often comes up is can I reuse my standards? Um, both applications allow you to create and reuse standards, custom catalogs, and panel configurations. Um, you can also create and reuse CAP parts in each application. Um, there are project, project and asset, sharings asset sharing between the two, and we support manufacturer-specific automation func and functionality in both of them. And then we also allow you to create and reuse drawing templates and title blocks, which I know is a big deal for um, the individual dealers. So now I'm going to take you over and, and show you um, a little bit about CAP Complete. I have AutoCAD loaded here. And one of the big differences in, in uh, CAP Complete is in AutoCAD, where you actually have to type CAP to load the application. So you'll see that once I have AutoCAD in place, you guys that, are, that use 2020 CAP today are used to seeing this. You come in and you type CAP. With CAP Complete, I'm going to load CAP Complete here. And CAP Complete actually loads everything automatically for you. So you see the splash screen come up. And then you'll see um, CAP Complete load. And you'll have access to your toolbar, your command line, all the things that you're used to. So the first thing to notice about um, CAP Complete is there's a very familiar interface. And you should be able to easily navigate this. This is where your content comes in. And I can insert products from the uh, Content Explorer just like we do today. So I can navigate and find a, a chair, for example. Okay. The 2020 CAP and 2020 CAP Complete, um, they both share the same ribbon menu. So I think the ribbon menu is probably new to some people. We introduced this. Um, in 2020 CAP in, in um, our 2019 release. Um, but all of the uh, commands, commonly used commands, are organized on a ribbon um, from drawing setup to inserting products to grouping those products together, doing your manufacturer specific automation, um, and then being able to edit. You can convert things and change heights. Um, all the way to going into worksheet and, and visual impression. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open a sample drawing that uh, most of you have probably seen. This is our updated visual impression drawing. Um, again, we have uh, two different ribbons. We've got a help ribbon now. And something that was new in our 2019 version was the ability to uh, receive remote uh, support from the ribbon. So if you go in here, you, you have a pick now for remote support. And um, so all the things are there that you're used to seeing. So if you look at the ribbon, um, you also have in 2020 CAP Complete, you do have a classic mode. And if I switch to classic mode, then I see the 2020 Office pull-down menu and all the tools that you're used to. Um, unlike 2020 CAP, you can't have both of these visible really at the same time in classic mode. So we're encouraging. Um, everyone to use uh, 2D annotation mode and, and begin using the ribbon now. So I'm going to go back to that mode. And you'll see I have um, my pull down menu, um, or sorry, my ribbon. Most of the people that are used to using ribbons understand, but I can, I'm going to just convert um, plan to 3D so you can see that this works exactly the same. Once I've converted it, I can go back to, to views here and I can choose a Southeast, Southwest view to see a different uh, floor plan view. I can also um, choose how I want that to be. If I want to have hidden lines or a wireframe, I can choose that as well. So we're a little bit zoomed out on it, but you can um, see how that works. Okay, and then if you notice back here, my convert plan to 3D. If I want to convert 3D back to plan, it, it stays there. I can say convert 3D to plan. Again, change that, and it should pull those back to plan view. Oops, let me see. Uh, let me go back to view and plan here. 
top view. I don't think I selected them all. So let's go back to our 2020 Office menu. And see now the ribbon says Convert uh, 3D to Plan. So I'm going to go back in here, convert that back to Plan View. For some reason, it's not wanting to do that for me right now. So we're going to, we're going to go on. Um, all the other picks are here, like Picking Cap Info. You can pick your info, and it will show you all the information on the drawing. I can also, uh, from, from here, go into uh, 2020 Worksheet and create a worksheet. I can also create associated worksheets from here. So this should look um, very familiar to what you're, you're used to using. So I'm going to go in here and, to, and pick things up in 2020 Worksheet to show you that the workflow between the applications is exactly the same. So now I've done my takeoff into 2020 Worksheet. And then from here I can also visualize everything in, in uh, visual impressions. So I'm just going to pick a small, uh, small area in, in the drawing to be able to show you this in visual impression. Okay, and then again, this product works just as it does today. Um, I, can, I can make changes and apply and save those changes back into CAP Complete. Um, again, the rules apply whatever. It, um, when I go to apply finishes back, it applies back to whatever uh, project, or sorry, whatever uh, my host application is, whether that's CAP, Giza, CAP Complete, um, or Worksheet. And the next thing I want to talk to you a little bit about is um, our ability to share project assets. So CAP Complete and CAP can be run side by side. And all your custom catalog standards and panel configs can be created and shared between e each application. Um, this allows a person with 2020 CAP Complete to work side by side and on the same projects as a CAP user. Um, there's no worries about changing information. And in effect, when, when you're transitioning from one product to the other, you can um, open drawings back and forth between the two without any, any loss of information. So I'm going to go back in and, and uh, do another demo here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to open, I'm going to close this drawing. And then I'm going to open our webinar project drawing. And I'm just going to show you in here. So um, if I go into my Projects tab, I have a custom catalog called Cindy's Project. And in that project I have some standards. And I just want to show you that I can bring those standards in. Even though they weren't, and, and you'll have to trust me on this, they weren't um, created in this tool. Um, they were actually created in, in AutoCAD, but they are visible in this tool. Um, I also wanted to show you a little bit about some of the other applications um, that, that we have. So I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to pick up on uh, back into our content, and I'm going to pick from our CMO catalog, and I'm going to pick some panel frames and panels, and I'm just going to pick some frames that are 78 inches high. And just to show you that these come in the same way that they do in 2020 CAP, and that I can use the panel placement tool in the same manner that I do today. I can change the app, uh, the tool that I'm using, or sorry, the the width of the panel um, and have it pick up. I, so all of that works just as it does today. The other thing I wanted to show you is I can go into automation and I can pick our 2020 automation and I can run over auto hardware and that works just as it does today. So any of the products or manufacturers that you're using, all the automation should work in exactly the same way. So I'm going to go out here too, and I'm going to show you Panel Builder. So I'm going to load Panel Builder real quick. And we're going to do a panel configuration. Um, so I'm going to put in a, a base frame and a stack on tile. Okay. And then I'm going to go into the tiles and just pick some standard things. So I want a 12-inch tile there, a 12-inch tile there, 24 here. 
over here, and um, let's see. Let's do another standard file here, another standard here. Glass on the top, and let's just do a slat wall finish here. Okay, so I've created a panel configuration. So when I go to save that configuration, I'm going to call this panel 4. And I'm going to save it into my custom catalog. Say OK. And it's going to create all of those uh, different panel configurations as well. So when we look over here under Projects, now I have panel 4. So I can drag that in and put it on these frames. And I want to apply this to all of these different objects. So I can put that in there. And you'll see that it brings everything in. Um, what I want to be able to show you then is I'm going to go back over to CAP now. And um, I'm going to refresh my project here. And I'm going to show you that um, now you can see that panel or sorry, that the custom catalog has been updated. I still have the same standards that I inserted in the other pro um, the other project. Can come into here, and I can apply those same panel applications in here as well. So I'm going to go back to our DMO catalog, and I'm again going to put in some uh, panel frames. And I can bring these in. And add the panel placer locations. And again, I can go into projects and I can pull that same panel application in here and apply it to all my parts in here. So I can select those. And you'll see that those will apply in here. So anything that's created in one uh, application can be viewed in the other between 2020 CAP and 2020 CAP Complete. So I hope that gives you a, a good overview of how uh, similar the products are. Um, but with CAP Complete, you have the, the benefit of not having to purchase a separate CAD engine. And the, one of the big questions that we're already beginning to get is, is, you know, is 2020 CAP Complete right for me? So I want to be able to show you that we have updated our 2020 Spaces website to include uh, 2020 CAP Complete. And um, once you go in here, um, I'll show you the live website. So we have, we have a place on our web page that tells you a lot about our space planning application. So if you're using uh, 2020 CAP today, is 2020 CAP complete right for you? Or if you're using 2020 Giza today, is 2020 CAP complete right for you? And basically what, this, um, what our website does is it talks a lot about you know, space planning in these applications. So um, the, when you click here, this tells you what's new with our 2020 Office applications. Most of you have seen this page before, but it, it will tell you about our content updates and also what software updates we have. So there's a little bit in here about 2020 CAP Complete. Um, the other thing that it does is it provides a list of all the manufacturer catalogs that we support. So you can go in here and see um, if your manufacturer is listed or what manufacturer you're looking for. But these are all the ones that we, we support. Um, th this will also take you and tell you a little bit about 2020 Worksheet. There's a link here to our Worksheet page and a link here to our Visual Impression page. And then a little bit about what the design, um, some of our users are saying about our software. And then there's also a place on, on the page where you can get more help um, regarding training or support or um, tips and tricks or our Knowledge Center. That's all there as well. Um, but I wanted to direct you specifically to this part of the website. And this is where those of you that are considering uh, 2020 CAP Complete, this will tell you which uh, 2020 Office applications write for you. So that all of our applications um, 
well, let me say it differently. In the past, it was pretty easy to tell whether you wanted 2020 CAP or 2020 GISA because one required um, AutoCAD and one didn't. Well, now we have two non-AutoCAD um, products, and it might be a little bit more complicated for you. So there, we put together this little check sheet um, to help you identify yourself in here. So if you use AutoCAD for things other than office furniture, um, if you're using them for flooring or, or electrical or any of that, um, you, probably, you may want to stick with 2020 CAP. If you use AutoCAD architecture right now, we're not supporting the AutoCAD tool sets, you probably want to stay with 2020 CAP unless that's not real important to you. Um, if you've used AutoCAD before, uh, 2020 CAP, I've got to stop saying 2020, CAP or CAP Complete <laughs> would be best for you. Um, Giza is probably not um, something you're going to want to consider. And if you work on larger projects, Giza can handle a fairly large project, uh, but once you get into some of the architectural and large client projects, you probably want to look at CAP or CAP Complete. If you exchange DWG files with architects, um, you can use any of our applications. Um, with Giza, you have the additional step to export um, to uh, sorry, to export as a DWG before you can open it in CAP, CAP Complete. Um, this one's a little tricky. My typical day more um, involves more than space planning. We have some dealers that the, their designers um, play multiple roles, and not that all designers don't play multiple roles, but that seems to happen a lot more in our in some of our Giza dealerships. So. If you're kind of a jack of all trades, um, you might want to take a, a look at Giza just because the interface is a little less um, complicated. That may be a good one for you to try. So all three of the tools access all the industry's largest list of manufacturers as we talked, as we've talked about a couple of times. And um, if you need feature-rich space planning and specification software, all three of those applications will will have the ability to work for you. So I would encourage you to have um, to go to the website to look at, at uh, the different tools and also to have a conversation with our um, customer care or our sales staff and help have them help you decide which 2020 tool may be right for you. Um, again, we also have a new um, brochure for 2020 CAP Complete. And you can see in here that um, you can get more information on each one of these applications by looking at the individual brochures. So there's a brochure out here for Giza and a brochure for uh, CAP as well. Okay, and then there's also always an opportunity for training. So while we've um, worked to eliminate the um, the learning curve for those of you that may be going from 2020 CAP to, to CAP Complete, we um, still there may be people that are interested in going from Giza to CAP Complete, and we would really encourage you to get some, some training. That will get you a little bit further ahead. So for more information about 2020 CAP Complete, I encourage you to visit 2020spaces.com. Um, I, I know that there's some, there was one thing that a question came up from the audience um, about XREFs. XREFs will work. In 2020 CAP Complete, just as they work in, in, in CAP today, you shouldn't have any, any problems with that. You can attach the, the XREF. If you need more information, visit 2020spaces.com. If you need help, you can uh, refer to the Knowledge Center. Um, our community is be becoming pretty active these days. And we also have included um, some of the posts um, on, that, on the community site that we got during uh, of the pilot program that we've been running since um, the end of August. Um, there's also information about training. And um, follow us on social for weekly tri tips and tricks. We have Tip Tuesday, Knowledge Wednesday, and some Sunday reading for you if you keep an eye on what's going on out there. And um, that's all I have for today. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw, and I hope that you're anxious to take a look at 2020 CAP Complete. Thank you.